I've been teaching the vertical line swing for a long time and I gave a lesson to Brett the other day and I gave him this one tip and it literally just clicked like that. Picked up 15 yards. I immediately got in the car and called Nick and said, Nick, we got to do a video on this. Anytime you're teaching something and you come across something that really works, you immediately think, could this help other people? So I want to share that tip with you, what we call it a golf hack, whatever it is, but it's going to really help you with club head speed. And also, I had a really interesting conversation the other day with a good buddy of mine by the name of John, smart guy, and he gave us some thoughts on the speed of your backswing and how it can impact your club head speed. And we're going to talk about that also. So first of all, what did I tell Brett? Well, Brett's a lefty. I can't hit golf balls left-handed, so I'm sorry, you're gonna have to watch this right-handed. But here's what we did. So Brett's a, you know, he's like a lot of us. He's an experienced golfer. He's got a little bit of hip uh, pain because he played some football in high school. And so the first thing that we did is we increased his hip mobility, we released the, the trail leg, all things that you know. But here's the one thing that I did with him. When he was hitting shots, when he was taking the club back, his hands were really low on the backswing. All right, they were kind of in this position. So he, he was taking it back and they were kind of low like this. Now, what a lot of you might not know, and I didn't know for a long time when I was first teaching, is, is that the height of the hands can really impact your club head speed. So in, in general, if I have a student, all things being equal, and their hands are kind of low here, and the next golfer's hands are higher, the person whose hands are a little bit higher will typically swing the golf club faster. Now, when you think about that for a second, all right, think about some of the, the longest drivers in the game has ever seen. So think of like a John Daly, right? John Daly's swing was not only long, but it was really up. Think of uh, a young Jack Nicklaus. Okay, Jack Nicklaus, his hands were nice and high. So the tip that I gave him that I'd start with you on is, is check the position of your hands. And the higher they are, the better position. So let me go ahead and hit a shot. So first of all, this is what Brett was doing. And then we're going to talk a little bit about backswing speed here in a second. So we had all the cornerstone setups of the vertical line swing system, all those things, because he's a great student and he pays attention. But his hands were low, so they were here, they were low, and like that ball flight there, I would say it was relatively solid, but didn't have a ton of speed to it. So what I asked him to do was get the hands higher, and I'll show you the drill that we did for that here in a second. But I said, all right, Brett, when you take that club back, get the hands up and get them higher, all right? So I wanted him to get them higher. Let me go ahead and hit a shot here. We're going to go a little more vertical going back. Okay, and you can see the speed definitely picked up there. Now as a checkpoint, curious here, how many of you out there like to videotape your own swing? Okay, do you? If you, if you do, Nick, Nick likes to videotape swings, doesn't he, Nick? What, yes, Nick <laughs> videotapes a lot of swings. But one of the checkpoints that you can use, all right, is the position of your hands. So here's the reference point that I'll use. When you take the hands and they get to the top of the swing, just stop it at the top of the swing. Nick will do this for us. When you get your hands at the top of the swing, I like to see the hands slightly above the shoulder line. When the hands are below the shoulders, there's going to be less speed. When the hands are in line or slightly above the shoulders, you're going to see more speed. So that's the first thing I want you to take away from this. Now, if you haven't already, you know my favorite question. Where are you from? And uh, I hope you're enjoying the channel. I hope you're learning a few things because um, I know Nick and I and Jordan and JT and the whole team, we're having a lot of fun helping you guys play better golf. So the tip that I gave him in terms of getting the feel for that, let me tee another ball up here. Got a beautiful day here. Beautiful day. So the tip that I gave him, other than just feeling like they were higher, is, and I've shared this one with you before, okay? And then we're going to get into the, the kind of eye-opening um, example that my buddy John gave us uh, here about backswing speed in a second. But all I had him do is I said, all right, Brett, just when you're set in here, just kind of do, do a little three-setter. You know, we love our three-setters. There's one. See what I'm doing? I'm just lifting my hands, all right? Now, when I lift it, like, I'm not advocating that your hands are up here, right? But that gives him the feel. So I just said, Brett, lift it. Good. One. There's two. Feel how your arm is moving up. It's not moving around. All right. And I said, now add some pivot, add some turn, and lift the arms up. Boom. Right down the middle. All right. Now you got that. Let's talk about John, my buddy John. This guy here is a smart dude. Now, one of the things, and in the next video here, I'm going to go deeper into this, but in a nutshell, all right, in a nutshell, the faster your backswing is, the faster your swing is going to be in general. So a lot of golfers are told, and, and I've told some golfers this, hey, listen, we've all, we all learn as we get older, right? It's part of the beauty of being an experienced golfer. We're told to have a slow, low takeaway. Okay, it's kind of like, hey, you're, you're swinging too fast, they'll say, or whatever. So 
they'll, they'll tell golfers, students to swing it low and slow. But the truth of the matter is, is that we got to get this club head going. So the faster you get the club head going, the better off you're going to be. So the second tip I want to give you here is that when you're in there, get those hands higher like Brett did, but get that club head going. Don't be afraid to get the body turning and really get those arms going. Let me go ahead and hit another one here. So we're set up. I'm going to get the arm working up. I'm going to get my arms moving faster. All right, here we go. Oh, best one of the day right there. Now, if you want more details on some drills that we do to help you pick up your club head speed, i.e. your backswing, check out the next video that I got coming up for you.